hey, French words, uh, before we do anything with the line you're going to practice today, we're going to warm up together, and I think this is going to really help with your high notes. Yeah. So I've got my metronome on 80. Once you've got this exercise learned, you can do it by yourself. And just put your quarter note, or your metronome on quarter note equals 80. And we're going to start on our low C. All the way down there. So let's play that together. One, two, three, four, five. Let's hold that one more time just to make sure you've really got it. And one, two, three. Okay, as we do these slurs, the number one thing you're going to try to keep in mind is moving all this as little as possible. That's how you know you're doing it right. Okay, I'll try to get as close as I can so you can also watch my face. Play that, ready, set, and go. Let's do that one more time so we can be sure you got it. And one, two, ready, go. So listen really close, and I'm not going to move any fingers this whole time. Okay, so we're going to go up four. Ready? And one, two, three. One more time just to make sure that you've really got it. One, and two, and three. Awesome. If you are watching me really close, you will notice that my chin, as I go higher, my chin goes down. It'll get longer and longer. Oh my goodness. So that it can pull, stretch all of this out. That's what makes us go higher. So let's add another note. Okay, so we'll go up five. Ready? One and two and up five notes. Alright, one more time. One and two and up five notes. because we want to do these in one breath. Ready? And one, two. I hope you enjoy the lovely counting coming from my daughter. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do that one more time. So here's up six. And one, two. Okay, if you feel like you're now solid on that, we're going to do the next step. If, if you need to practice that more, redo that and do not do what I'm about to do until you feel really comfortable and relaxed with what you just played. But if you're ready to move on, we're going to change the fingering. So I'm going to press down trigger two, three, and we're basically going to do the same thing, but everything will be a little bit higher. So here's our starting note. Let's hold that. One, two, three. Okay, and here's a slur. One, and two, and ready, go. Let's do that again, one and two and one more time. Then add a 
adding a note just like we did last time. One and two and up four go. <laughs> expanding on that is just go up your fingering pattern from trigger in fifth position to trigger fourth trigger third trigger second and then all the way back to trigger open to get up really high but let's go ahead and do the line we're going to do some of line 4.19 all through the night first thing we're going to do is we're going to check our time signature because we're about to count this and we'll be really happy because it's just 4-4, four, four, so we just count to four. Everything is normal. So let's go ahead and count the first four measures of this. One and three, four. One and three, four. One, three, and one. Stop. We're going to do that one more time because I want you to make sure that you pulse just as clearly as me. One. So we feel all three of those eighth notes that are inside of our dotted quarter note three pulses on each dotted quarter. So here we go again. One and three, four, one and three, four, one, three and one, stop. Okay, so now we're gonna note name and finger this. Uh, so let's scan really quick and see what our key signature is before we do this. So our key signature has nothing, which means that all these Bs that we see are going to be B naturals. Mark it with my purple marker. Beautiful. There we go. B naturals. So trigger second. For those of us that need that, you can mark it in your own music, then it's even better. But let's go ahead and finger and note name the same four measures. C, B, A, C, D, C, B, G, A, B, B, C. Stop. Hopefully you were perfect, but just in case you weren't, we're going to do that one more time. I hope you notice how I'm pulsing through, even though I'm saying letters, because that's what I'm going to think when I play. So you should do that too. Here we go. Note, naming, and fingers. C, B, A, C, D, C, B, G, A, B, B, C, stop. All right, we're going to play this time. So let's take a test note to make sure we're going to start on C. Let's do one more test note together. Ready? Here we go. 
because if you miss something, I bet it was going up to D. So we're going to play these three notes. We're going to go A, C, D, slowly with me. Ready? One, two, three notes, go. We're going to get a little bit louder as we go higher to help ourselves out. Begin and ready, go. Make sure that chin is getting really pointy when we get to D. So we're not scrunching, but we're pulling it down. Let's do those three one more time. And ready, set, and go. Let's put it back together. Here's those first four measures one more time. smart and you probably noticed that there's a repeat sign here. So we would we would play those first four measures and we would repeat and then the second time we would skip over our first ending and go to our second ending which almost looks the same but not quite because there's this little RIT right here. It stands for retardando which is just a fancy word that basically means slow down. Okay, so you'll see what I mean in just a second. All right, so now we're going to do the whole thing. At the beginning, repeat, and then second inning. naturals and did your eyes remember to skip Right, it's time to show off your awesome hard work and perform this. So get your audience of pets or plants, whatever you have, and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 